People often ask, what will it mean when borders open? Will it have an impact on property prices? The answer is potentially yes, insofar as the Australian market was driven by a lot of foreign investment. And what that meant is that overseas uh, people were buying properties in Australia. However, as a foreign investor, they could only buy brand new properties. They weren't allowed to buy existing properties. So that meant off the plan units and that sort of thing. At the moment, that's not really a hot market. The hot market is in existing, probably landed properties. In other words, not a unit market, a house market. So as borders open and foreign investment comes back into Australia, potentially, we will see more demand, but that doesn't necessarily mean it'll drive prices higher. Prices are now reaching their peak and it seems like they're turning. Just this week, auction clearance rates were slightly lower and there was more supply, more stock on market, at least in Sydney and Melbourne than there was this time last year and a lot more listings that weren't snapped up. So what that means is that it could signal a turn in so far as the property market is cooling slightly. And what all the experts say is the rate of growth this year will be a lot less than it has been in the last 12 months. We just couldn't keep going up at that breakneck speed. So as investors start to come back back into the country and borders start to open. Yes, there will be demand. People need students and foreign visa holders need places to live. The rental market is tight. And yes, there is um, more demand than there is supply. So it should mean that prices are propped up or have some support even when interest rates are starting to rise on an upward cycle. Uh, shouldn't see too much damage um, and those two should balance each other out. So open borders do not necessarily mean prices are gonna be jacked up even higher.